Thomas Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. The Strongest Man, Samson. Today I'm going to read the story. Okay? <clears throat> 18th chapter. Samson was very strongest man. <clears throat> God made him strong. Samson was strong if enough to kill a lion. He killed a lion with his bare hands. Samson even won the battle with Philistines. The Philistines tried to kill Samson. They treated the Israel bad treated the Israel badly. But Samson was stronger than they were. <coughs> I won't I want to do whatever I want, Samson did didn't obey God. He didn't obey his parents. <coughs> Samson also did what made himself sad. He fell in love with a Palestine girl, girl Delilah. The Palestines came to Delilah. <coughs> we will give you a lot of money. Find out what made Samson so strong. <coughs> Their luck kept asking him to tell her the truth day and night. Samson gave an essay and said, My strength is in my long hair. Their luck cut his hair and called the Palestines. Samson's attack later made him sad. <clears throat> Samson woke up from his sleep, but Samson's <clears throat> strength was gone. He didn't listen to God. He didn't listen to his parents. And now Samson was weak. The Palestines killed him in jail. The Philistines make Samson blind. blind. <clears throat> they made him work hard. They laughed at him. They were cruelly to him. Samson repented and his hair began to grow. One day the Philistines were gathered at a great temple to worship their god. At the big party, the Palestine called Samson out. They made a fun of him. Samson cut off the ropes around you. Ha ha ha. Samson repented to pray. God made me strong one last time. Help me take ring. On those Palestines, they're cruelly to the Israel. God made him strong again. Samson pushed the pillars with all his might. Pillars with all his might. The temple crashed it down over the people in the temple. Nineteen chapter, Ruth followed Naomi. I am going home, <coughs> said Naomi. Naomi moved to Moab with her husband and her two sons a long time ago. They were a big famine in her hometown, Bethlehem. <clears throat> Naomi became old. Her husband and two sons died. Naomi was leaving her, her daughters in love. I am going 
We're back to my people, said Naomi. I am going with you. I will go wherever you go. Your home is my home. Your God will be my God, said Ruth, the second daughter in law. Ruth came to Bethlehem with Naomi. Naomi is the old one. Ruth had to prepare food for Naomi. It was a harvest time in Bethlehem. Ruth gathered grains on the barley field and ate with Naomi. Actually, in this time, when they're going, these will fall down, right? So they will, they don't have to pick it up. It is for the poor people. It is like left. Boaz on the land. She takes good care of her mother-in-law. Ruth must be a good woman, thought Boaz. Ruth gathered grains diligently. Boaz helped Ruth gather more grains. He helped Ruth eat with older workers comfortably. Boaz and was a kind, rich man. Naomi said to Ruth, In Israel, tradition, widows are to marry at the closest relief. Was is the closest relief? relative and he likes you <clears throat> why don't you marry him as Naomi said Boaz and Ruth got married ah. God gave Ruth a very special gift a baby boy obey Grandam, Ma, Naomi and Ruth were really happy. God blessed Ruth. Mm, there's a cute baby. It is very big, I think. Have this much. The first one baby is this much. Yes. Not this much. This is too small. This much. I'll read one more. God's man, Samuel. Hannah was crying and praying in the temple. She didn't have any children. Her husband, Elak, was a loving. Was a. Loving husband. But Elias' other wife, Penanya, was calling to Hananya. Help me, God, give me a child. If you let me have a baby boy, I will. Offer him to you. The priest of the temple, Eli, thought Hannah was drunk. Hannah, you have to quiet. You had to have to quiet drinking. Hannah was. Hannah said to Eli, "I am not drunk." I am praying because I am so sad. The 
first, first said to Hannah, Go and tell peace, go in peace. God will answer your prayer. Hannah was not said sad anymore. God really gave her a son. Hannah was very happy. She named him Samuel. Samuel means God answered my prayer. When Samuel was a little boy, Hannah took Samuel to the God temple. I will give this child to God. Can you help him to serve God? Yes, I will help him, said Eli. The trusted Hannah thanked God for Samuel. Samuel lived in a temple. He helped Eli and served God. Samuel obeyed God. He made a good God happy. He made people happy. Hannah and Elikan came to the temple to worship God. Hannah bought a jacket for Samuel. They wanted Eli to bless them. Bless us with more children, Eli prayed for them. God blessed Hannah with three sons and two daughters. There's very many child. Samuel served God in the temple. He heard a voice calling him, Samuel, Samuel. God was calling Samuel. God spoke to Samuel every time, everything. God said, happened. Samuel gave messages to the people of Israel. He was a special prophet to of God. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Dave the brave boy. I'll read next time. Yes, today we read. Maybe two, three stories. I two, four stories. Eighteen chapter. The strongest man, Samson. The Samson was very strong, and the Philippine tried to kill Samson, and he didn't listen to God, and he fell with love with a Philistine called Delilah, and he have told his secret and they have captured the samson because the devil had told them the people and they treated the samson badly and at the party, Samson has prayed to God to give the strength to him again. So God gave him and he pulled and it has all broken. Yes. Yes, today I read the Bible story. And it was David, the brave boy, boy, I will read for you next time. Oh, there's a giant. And the giant's name is Goliath. Yes. Oh, Samuel. <laughs> He's very happy. I think he has... Prophet God. So he's so happy, right? Then bye. See you next time.